In a particular situation, the position of an object through time is given by x of t equals 2 times t to the fifth minus 4t minus 2, and this is given in meters. This is a plot of x of t. Question A. What is the location of the object at t equal one half seconds? In the equation for x of t, we set t equal to one half. So we have two times one half to the fifth power minus four times one half minus two equals minus 3.9 meters. Question B. What is the location of the object at t equal two seconds? Setting t equal to two in the equation for x, we get 54 meters. Question C. What is the velocity of the object at any time? Writing the derivative v equals dx dt, we get 10 t to the fourth minus four, and this is measured in meters per second. Question D. What is the velocity of the object at t equal one half seconds? Setting t equal to one half in the equation for velocity v, we get minus 3.4 meters per second. Question E. What is the acceleration of the object at any time? Taking a derivative again, we have a equals dv dt equals 40 t cubed, measured in meters per second squared. Question F. What is the acceleration of the object at t equal one half seconds? Here we get five meters per second squared. The positive sign means that the velocity of the object is increasing at this moment in time. Question G, is the velocity constant in time? No. Question H, can you use the constant acceleration equation V equals V zero plus A T? The answer is no. Question I. If you are riding in a car while the driver fully presses the accelerator and then releases it, and then again fully presses it and then releases it, you will be uncomfortably jerked forward and backward in the car. Engineers design the motion of passenger planes, cars, and trains such that their acceleration is smooth and low. The time rate of change of the acceleration is said to be jerked. Nature and physics rarely put to use the third derivative. What is the jerk for the given motion? Taking another derivative, we get j equals d80 t equals 120 t squared. This will be measured in meters per second cubed. Question two. The velocity of an object is given by v of t equals 3t times the sine of 4t. What is the acceleration of the object at any time? Using the product rule, we get a of t equals 3 times sine of 4t plus 12t times cosine of 4t. Question three. The position of an object is given by x of t equals 3t times the sine of 4t times e to the 5t where exp is a common notation for the exponential function. Using the triple product rule, we get v of t is 3 sine of 4t plus 12t cosine of 4t plus 15t sine of 4t times the exponential e to the 5t.